Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to know the important thing which is related to the BHU PhD entrance examination. So many students are having the doubt regarding the RET and RET exempted category and how many seats are there. So we'll know each and everything and whether you are eligible for the application or not. So watch this video till end to know all the doubts cleared. So starting with what is this RET? So RET is actually research entrance test which is conducted by the BHU and those who haven't cleared the net exam that is LS or JRF. So they are mostly the category which are going to give in this and RET exempted category are for those people who are coming under this section. So we'll read one by one who should apply for the RET exempted category, whether net LS can apply or not, whether net JRF only apply. So we'll know one by one. So let us read the points briefly. So I will tell you briefly who are the people who can apply in this RET exempted category. First of all, a candidate who has qualified the national level test such as net JRF as well as net LS. So it is also written that without fellowship, it is clearly mentioned that if you are only having net LS, that is lectureship, only net qualified, then also will be considered for the RET exempted category. Also, if you have qualified the gate exam, then also you will be under the RET exempted category. State level eligible test that is SLET accredited by UGC, central or state government. So those will be able to apply in this category that is RET exempted category and you should not be giving the exam. So you won't be giving the entrance test by the BHU and other things those who are having the recipient of national doctor fellowship those who are from the QIP ICT selected candidate, those who are from the foreign national and having their fellowship by the ICCR. So these are actually mostly they are telling if you are having fellowship or if you are having net LS and gate then you can be considered in the RET exempted category. So no need to go for the RET that is research entrance test. So now we will know in which category our RET exempted category is there for this year. So you can see here for every subject there is no chance that you will be able to apply if you are having the RET exempted category. So we are looking for the environmental science and yes in the science you can see if you are from the environmental science background or you want to apply for that then RET exempted category is available for the 2020 and 2021 section. So we'll move forward and then we will know the important thing which is written over here. So here two important things you should know here that first of all if you are having the net JRF then you will get the fellowship from the UGC or CSR net if you are having. But if you are having net LS only and GET you won't be getting fellowship. For that if you want to get the BHU Banaras Hindi University Research Fellowship you have to appear in the RET that is research entrance test for the shortlisting and then only you will be able to get the fellowship. So if you don't want the fellowship and if you are under the RET exempted category so no need to go for this exam but if you want then you should give this RET exam. Next thing is disciplines that is this question was also asked allied discipline that means it is telling that if you apply for geology and if you qualify that exam or if you qualify that interview then you are also eligible for the admission besides the main discipline so if you are able to qualify this entrance or this viva then you will be eligible for the environmental science for the geophysics for the Rasa Shastra all these things allied discipline also if you are able to qualify geology or if you are able to qualify the geophysics then also you will be able for the environmental science admission for PhD but this will be very difficult for the environmental science student because geophysics and geology are completely different from the main subject that is environmental science. So now we will know how many seats are there and whether there is RET that is research entrance test exam for the environmental science or not. So this is the most important part you should be attentive. So here you can see here under the faculty of science you can get here environmental science as the discipline. The code number is 983 and here RET is zero that means research entrance test for this year there is zero vacancy but research entrance test exempted is two seats are only available for the environmental science. Yes for the net LS, net JRF, GATE or any other fellowship two seats are for their environmental science that is 
research entrance test exempted now we will know one more doubt you are having that what is environmental science and what is environment science actually environment science is not coming under the actual environmental science it is actually environmental sci environment science and technology so this is under the faculty of environment and sustainable development so this is not under the science category in this category you will be getting RET exempted that is 14 vacancies so it is not the pure environmental science it is environment science and technology so basically for the engineering students and this is actually having 14 seats but if you are going for the environmental science then it is only two seats so you should be very careful while filling the application because the first thing which will be asked is select the main discipline so if you are selecting environment science then you will be considered for this 14 seat and under the faculty of environment and sustainable development the subject will be environment science and technology so if you are selecting environmental science then you will be eligible for environmental science with the two seats to fight for so lastly i would like to say that how to appear for the application form so here you will get the link i will provide in the description and you will apply for the application for ret exempted 2020 because ret 2020 for the environmental science and environment science is not for this year only ret exempted is there and you can apply by clicking here so i'll provide the link in the description so i hope your doubts are clear now so make sure you should be aware while filling that is environment science or environmental science so that's all in this part of the video if you want more such updates don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon to get further updates see you guys in our next video